shields 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 are cool this is the first video i would like to do on a series of videos on shields in this video i'll be starting that series showing the development of different types of shield and their broad history between my main point of interest of roughly 400 to 1620 AD. Since the early days of human habitation, humans have wanted to put a big bit of wood between them and everyone else. For those seemingly living in unexpected ignorance, a shield is a piece of wood. A shield is a piece of wood. A shield is a piece of wood? Oh, no kidding, bro. It's a shield is made out of wood. What else, bro? The sky is made out of air? Maybe, you know, you give us more content, bro. We know we ain't stupid. Barring specific designs that come in at later points, most shields are wooden. The reason wooden shields work so well is that a metal shield will not absorb a blow. Metal is god-awful for energy absorption, so when a sword, axe, or any other weapon comes into it, it will, most of the time, rebound away the weapon and merely slow the attacker. Although this isn't necessarily the case uh, with these specific other shield types I mentioned, such as metal bucklers. Wood, however absorbs blows very well and will take all the momentum out of a blow giving the shield user a moment to defend themselves today's video will be on the lenticular shield you may be thinking what the hell is a lenticular shield you may alternatively be thinking why the lenticular shield isn't the flat round shield a more obvious starting point to both of these i issue slightly different answers. To explain the first question, a lenticular shield is a shield that takes the shape of a convex lens with a height and a bulge in the centre. There are a number of advantages and disadvantages to this design, and it is similar to the flat Viking shields you may already know of, but takes a very distinct form. I will cover these flat shields in another video. In the last centuries, of the Roman Empire, the Roman military adopted almost entirely round and oval lenticular shields for their infantry troops. They decided that those were the most effective for the kind of work they would be doing compared to the flat shields still being used by the Germanic warriors of the same time. For their size, they offer very good coverage of the body, whilst being efficient and flexible shields, and their ability to deflect blows is very advantageous. You can really see why the Romans chose to take these shields on board, considering the other options that they had used in the past. An example of the late Roman lenticular shields is this one here, that I have actually uh, made myself. It's based on the Boss and Grip set from the Carmarthen Grave in southern Germany, which is a 5th century grave, and it's painted in the design of the Jovians, who were a prominent Roman Palatine legion. This style of shield continues to be used throughout late antiquity, and in the Migration Era, alongside flat round shields. We see this in many, many manuscripts, particularly of Frankish and Carolingian influence. Examples of these continental shields can be seen all over in manuscripture, including this example, which is from the Stuttgart Salter and clearly shows lenticular shields. This wasn't just contained within Europe, though. Even areas considered by many to not be centres are still seen with them. This example from the Avalemno stone depicts a Pict using a lenticular shield slung over his shoulder with a two-handed spear. We also see this style of shield evidenced within Middle Anglo-Saxon burials and begin to see it come in in manuscripture in England. This then goes into the Viking Age, where we still see this shield design on a large number of Carolingian manuscripts, and now we see it in English manuscripts all the way up to the mid to late 11th century, such as on this image of Goliath from the Tiberius Psalter, again alongside the flat round shield which is still evidenced from archaeology. 
That said, up to and during the Norman Conquest, this shield design then seems to fall out of favour for the new kite shield that seems to come in. But that's a story for another video.